Okay, if you've been following along with our tutorials so far, you should have a beat that sounds like this. Right, so that's great. We've got a basic drum pattern going on here with added swing. Go to track four using the cursor keys. If you don't know how to do this, please see our last tutorial because it's very important that you master the last tutorials before coming to the next ones. MPC Machine allows you to organize your sounds in any which way you want to. For example, if you look on the screen, all of our drum sounds that we have on our drum pads are assigned to a program called Basic Kit. This sound bank is what all of our different sounds are in. We can continue to add more sounds in this program, or we can create a new one and put our own different sounds in like strings, bass, synth sounds, whatever you like. So use the cursor up button and select the program role. At the moment it says PGR1 and the sound bank next to it will say basic kit. Now that we have that role highlighted, press the option two button. A pop-up window will appear, giving us all the options related to that program. This also gives us the option to create a new one. That's what we want to do. We want to create a new program, i.e. sound bank, where we can put all our sounds into. Press the create new program button and type in the word sounds. Now you can see that on track four, we now have an empty sound bank called sounds. If you go back to track one, you'll see that basic kick is still assigned to it and it's on track two and three and four has sounds attached to it, the new one we just created. So if you go back up to the program layer and use the cursor key left and right, you can toggle which sound bank you want to use for this track or any of the tracks. So at the moment I'm on track four and I can assign basic kick to it or sounds again. If you don't understand any of these concepts, please rewind and start again, because it may take a while to digest for some people. Right, so now we're gonna load some sounds and put them in our sound bank. If you're following along, make sure that you're on the sounds sound bank that we just created. So to assign new sounds to the pads, we tap the LCD screen as shown earlier to access the menu. And then go to load import. This is the file browser screen. This is where we can either get sounds from our local phone or device drive, or buy new kits from our online shop, or browse the sound memory to basically assign sounds in memory to different pads. And that's what we're gonna do. Lucky you, we've already got some sounds in memory that we're going to assign to pads. Click on samples in memory. This shows all the sounds that we have currently loaded in our device's memory at the moment. If you scroll down or touch any of the sounds, it will automatically give you a preview as to what the sound is. The sound that we're looking for is an organ. So click on the organ sound. Then if you look to the left hand side of the screen, the pad with the yellow rectangle around it is the one that's currently selected. Click the button in the menu bar that says assign organ to pad one. This puts that organ sound on that pad. If you click on the next pad, pad number two, now we scroll and look for a sound that says synth bass. Click on the Assign to Pad button. That will assign the synth bass to pad number two. Now click on pad number three and look for a sound called HS Pretty Stab. Now click Assign to Pad. 
It's that simple. Exit out of the sample select screen by pressing the back button. This brings us back to the main drum machine screen. And as you can hear, we have those three sounds assigned to that program called Sounds. Now, I'm going to lay down a new recording on this track, track number four, using these sounds over the drum pack. And there we have it. That comes to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, you've learned quite a lot. You've learned how to create a new sound bank, how to assign a sound bank to a track, how to audition and import new sounds from the file chooser and assign them to pads. Again, if there's anything you don't understand, watch the video again till you get all the concepts. Thank you for watching.